This is Sjelefteå, in the very north of Scandinavia, in Swedish Lapland. Here, the winters are long, cold, rugged, dark and unforgiving, but also just plain spectacular. And this is Jorge. He's never been in Swedish Lapland before. My mission here is to introduce him to our Arctic lifestyle over the course of three days, bit by bit. And me, this is Aleta. This is the Pangea Ice Challenge. Hello, Jorge. Hello, how are you? Welcome to Celestia. Welcome to the dark and cold yeah. in Swedish Lapland. I'm really looking forward to all the things we're going to be doing. Well, here we are now. So where is the bus or...? Do you want to take a bus? Or a car, I don't know. No, no. I think that in Swedish Lapland, the scooter is much better. Oh, what okay. Do you think? Wow. Hey, guys. Hi. Hey, welcome. 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 Hey. Nice to you. Hey. Nice to meet you. I like this very much. This is going to be funny. Yeah, forget the buses. Yeah. <laughs> there is one thing I haven't really told Jorge. It's about Saturday's event, the winter swim. I have registered Jorge for a start in the competition, the Scandinavian winter swim competition. Today is Thursday, which gives us two days. I'm going to train him well. And soon I will tell him over a cup of coffee. So how was the ride? Oh, it was, it was wonderful. Really, really fun. I've enjoyed it so much. So Jorge, do you have any idea everything that can do here in Swedish Lapland? I have some ideas, but I'm pretty sure I don't know it all. I can help you with that. Yeah. I'm you are sure going to drive your own dog sledding. Good. You are going to try the sauna. Good. You are gonna uh, take a bath in the ice. Oh, you mean you are gonna take a bath in the ice? No, you are gonna. I mean, I'm gonna okay. see you there. <laughs> so then you have to swim 25 meters in the World Cup winter well, competition. Well, uh, I'll, you know, I'll try my best. I'll be very proud of uh, participating in such events. We are gonna train you well and you are gonna <laughs> be the best. Yeah, right. Let's cheers about that. Yeah, cheers with coffee. That's yes. it. Right. And, and it's very tasty as well. Yeah. Okay, let me sum it up for you. Jorge is going to participate in Winter Swim, a relay over 25 meters in the Shelefta River with a water temperature of 0.1 degrees. As a build-up for the race, he will drive his own dog sled, go for a walk on the frozen sea, the Gulf of Potnia, enjoy the local sauna culture and much more. It's important that he gets to know our lifestyle. But first, let's have some palt. As you see, it's going to be energy inside the palt. Mm -hmm. So now it's potatoes, water, salt, salt flour. flour. Palt is a dish very custom to this part of the world. To palt will keep the hunger away for long. Oh, and this is Ines. She has made thousands of palts in her life. The sheep goes a lot faster than yes. <laughs> the side of the table. Huh? But if you eat more than two, you are going to be in palt coma. It's so I can, you mean I can go into a coma if yeah. I eat more than two? <laughs> but, I, but I cannot if I go into the ice water, huh? No. Nice. Excellent. I'm going to do it at the uh, traditional way. Yeah, me too, first. I think. It's the right way. This is very good. You said two, right? <laughs> or I'm going to a coma. Yeah. Skull. Skull. It's actually nice to go for a walk after dinner. I do it all the time, no matter where I am. <laughs> but if you eat pal... Well, if you eat pal, then important. you really need to go for a walk. Yeah, yeah so it's good. And so it's going to be like 20 miles, don't worry about it. <laughs> During supper, Jorge asked me about the water temperature he will be swimming in. I said he can find out on his own. All we need is a lake and a nice drill. And luckily we have both. How many degrees do you think that the water is? I don't know, let's find out. I told you, the pulse is important. <laughs> well, I'm glad I took it. Yes, exactly. Woo! Would you like to try with the thermometer? Yeah. We'll see. So 0.1. 0.1. 
first day in Celestel and uh, I really didn't think I was gonna have so much fun. From the snowmobile transfer from the airport, which has been really amazing, and crossing that lake was such an experience, and going through the woods as well. Then cooking palt, which I really needed, even though I didn't know at the time I was preparing it. And then coming to this lake and dealing with this hole and the temperature and, and, and realizing how cold it is going to be in the next couple of days for my whole body. My hands still very cold after a few minutes. I really recommend all our clients, customers, fellow travelers to experience by themselves because this is truly a bit of the paradise. <laughs> I think Jorge needs a friend, besides me, that is. Someone who can relate to what his experience here way up in the north will be. And I have an idea. I think that you are going to need a mate to swim tomorrow in the winter competition. That'd what be great. You? That'd I be great. It else. would improve my possibilities. Exactly. That's for sure. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> This is my friend Israel. He is from Barcelona and will make a perfect companion for Jorge. Welcome. Good to see you, man. How are you doing? Very well. Yeah. Great to see well. you. Yeah. Great to have you here. Long time. I like that. Nice. We're ready for the challenge. Ready to swim. Uh, yeah, you yeah. too? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> nice. Hey. Hi. How are you? George Israel. Magilin. George. Magilin, welcome. And these guys behind you, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's very exciting, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Huskies just love to work and work in their perspectives is running as fast as they can in front of a sled. Spending time with huskies is an important step in understanding the Arctic lifestyle. And although they look almost like wolves, I can assure they are as friendly as puppies. What's her name? Nordjig. Uh, uh, each dog has a, a specific position and a specific job. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And controlling with your body. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. You make the balance always. All right. And to go to the right also. Although driving huskies is just amazing, there is a greater purpose to this tour. The dogs will take us deep into the forest to a creep where we have prepared a hole in the ice. Not a small hole like the day before, but a big one. So big that it can fit a full grown man. And you might guess who those men are. But I've also prepared a steam in hot sauna. A little bit of our local sauna culture. You know, it's all about the challenge. Okay. Yes, perfect. Wow, what a ride, man. Yeah, so here Amazing. we are in Vansele Wilmer Center, and this is Johannes. Hi, Hi Israel. Hey, Johannes, George. Great Johannes. meeting you. Yeah. Nice meeting you. This is where you're going to have dinner. You're going to do some uh, sauna and some hot tub, but also you're going to take a dip in the hole in the ice as well. Uh -huh. oh. We're yeah. ready. We'll do that. We get you ready. Yes, We're ready. yes. But we can take this into the water, right? Into the water, uh, <laughs> if you want to, but I don't recommend it, no. <laughs> But uh, before we do that, I think we should warm up by going for a moose safari. Okay? Have yeah. you done the moose safari? No. no. With a bit of luck, we might see one. I think we, we do it right. now before it gets dark. It's around 10 degrees now, minus. Uh, but the wind is blowing at 14 meters. And that gives uh, a wind cooling effect of about 22 minus. Okay. So you, that's something you don't think about, but it's very important to it's very cover up. Then we'll be totally fine, okay? Mm -hmm. And if you ever are in trouble or afraid, just stop, turn it off, and I will come back and help you out, okay? Okay, perfect. Great. Great. Good, let's, let's go. Do it. People up here say that the moose is the king of the forest. If you meet one, it's easy to understand why. They can weigh up to 500 kilos and reach a height of two meters at the withers. So you can see here, this is some, some moose tracks. There is a lot of wind and the snow is blowing, so it gets covered up quite quickly. But still, we can see them here, which means that these are probably less than two hours old. Look here. 
You can see here, it's been eating on this. This is gonna be the first big test. Down there is the hole in the ice, covered with the snow. The first task is open the hole. That is the easy part. Zero point two. <laughs> Are you brave enough? Let's get warm first to take the bath. Okay, okay, let's go. So we've prepared your supper. We have Arctic char, moose meat and some reindeer meat, potatoes along with mixed carrots from the local farmer, some onions and some special jam. It's made of 16 different spices and ingredients and you need to try this with everything that you eat here. Okay. I'm just going to give you some of this uh, reindeer as well. Fight over that one. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you very much. Thank you for tomorrow. I'm taking it. You're okay. <laughs> I can I take, take another one. Mmm, jam is amazing. I'd let them relax for a while. After all, this is like the calm before the storm. Come on. Let's go. Are you going to go down? <laughs> Just do it. <laughs> yep. Come on. Beautiful. Right. right now, I'm so proud. You know, this is basically in the middle of nowhere. It's pitch dark and freezing cold. Above all, this is a mental challenge a huge one. Now they deserve a dip in the hop tap. Let's get in, man. Yeah. Oh. Ah, this is great. Yeah. Oh. Wonderful. Yes, we did it, man. One for the team. <laughs> the sauna is about purification. It's about end of life and the beginning of life. It's a perfect way to end a day in the dark and cold, in the very heart of Swedish Lapland. I thought it looked like they enjoyed themselves a little too much in the sauna. They got too relaxed, so I sent them off on some fat bikes for the ride home. It's so fun! Another magnificent day here in the Swedish Lapland. We've done dog sledding, which has been marvelous through the forest, then some more snowmobile, of course, trying to chase uh, moose, although we haven't been successful, but it's been really, really worth the try. And then, of course, the East Vogue, um, that we've really enjoyed at the end of the day. It has been a, a, an extraordinary surprise and it has made our day completely unforgettable. And now, of course, really looking forward to competing in that uh, winter swimming competition. We're going to be there and you know it. Today is race day. I prepared an early start. My plan is to go out on the Baltic Sea before the race. Why? Well, there is something about the frozen sea that makes you think. It makes you humble. But before we can enter the sea, we will have to reach it. So, snowshoes on! Check the sea. Yep. So, Peter, please, can you make a hole for yes. us? Yes, I can. Yeah, thank you. Hold on one sec.
Ah. It's warm. It's okay? Yeah, yeah. It's... let's see. So, 0 0.1. I'm surprised. I thought it was going to be like a lot worse here. I mean, look around. So, are you hungry? Yes. I am. Yes, <laughs> yes we are. Yeah. <laughs> then we go and make some food out here. Yeah. Grind the island. Nice. Yeah. I'm hungry. Go. I'm in. <laughs> yeah, let's go for it. You know, the fact that you could actually walk so many miles towards Finland or, or whatever you actually can start walking there and, and get really far if you do it in the antarctica or if you do it in alaska or, or in greenland then you know that you might be crossing a few rivers but you're on land but here this is the baltic sea mm -hmm. i'm going to say it again because i don't believe it this is the baltic sea and you can actually walk on it and and get really far that's truly amazing since this is the race day i've asked peter to serve a steady lunch to the boys Oh, back! Mm -hmm. Yes! Because we really test, tasted it when I was uh, flying from I like Barcelona. Tom. This is fantastic food. But every time I eat this, I end up drilling holes in the ice. I didn't want to put too much pressure on Jorge. But of course, there is a time to beat. The average winter swimmer completes the 25 meters in 20,4 seconds. 20,4 seconds times 4 is 1 minute and 36 seconds. They have to beat that time in the relay to say they have accomplished the Pangea Ice Challenge. Now we are off to the arena. Welcome. Thank you. This is Jarko. He's one of the organizers at Dark and Cold, the one responsible for the winter swim competition. And Jarko, he knows basically all there is to know about winter swimming. Why do people do it? If they do it because it's healthy. Healthy? Healthy, wow. yes. Yes, you heard it right. Winter swim is healthy. First five meters, it's very cold, and it's the ex excitement. Yeah. Second ten meters, if he's, this is really cold, and then you are almost there. I used to play water polo. Yes. I guess that's out of the question, right? Well, just kidding. <laughs> when you go down, remember to breathe. Because if you are swimming 25 meters and your body is working with the, with the heating, heating up things, you need some oxygen. Afterwards, when you can come up, you feel that your feet and uh, fingers, they are frozen, but you don't care. How many seconds will it take for us? <laughs> At the most, 30 seconds. 30 At the seconds. most. Thank you. Thank you very much. We're Thank really you. looking forward to doing it. <laughs> Let's rock, man. Yeah. Guys, it's very important for the relief to have two partners more. So we are going to meet the locals. Johannes. Hey, Johannes. <laughs> nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. <laughs> yeah. Angelica, my name is George. Hey, well, Israel. Yeah. We didn't meet you before. Israel. Hands in. Hey. Yeah, hey. ready? Hey. <laughs> I have no heart disease, no problem with blood circulation or respiration. I'm in good health, good swimmer, and I participate at my own risk. Yes. Good, let's go for it. <laughs> yeah.
We did it! We did it for you! Woo! I'm very warm! We did it! I won! I won! Yes! We did it! Good fun! How did the race go? Oh, it, it, well, I mean, uh, time wise, I don't know because we just uh, were focused in completing it. Uh, it's been a fantastic experience. I, I, I never thought it was going to be like it really is. And I'm really glad I came and participated in it. We'll probably come back because we won the gold. <laughs> so maybe in 10 years. <laughs> when you have been victorious, it's important to celebrate with good food and good friends. That's also a vital part of our lifestyle. I think Jorge and Israel have done well, very well. They completed all the different challenges. They completed the winter swim and they beat the time of 1 minute 36 seconds. I am very proud, super proud. Really good. Today has been a really special day, even in my life, because I've done the winter swimming challenge and I feel very proud of it. And uh, it's been very special to be part of such thing. And I truly think that, that everyone should come and try at least once in, in a lifetime. And as an overall impression of this trip, I only have positive things to say. Uh, we've done uh, snowmobile, we've tried to see moose, we've, we've walked over the Baltic Sea, which was amazing. And there are so many good things that you can do in the uh, Swedish Lapland that uh, I actually think I'm gonna stay. I mean, it's, this is paradise. So what I can tell you is that I'm planning to be back here with more people, bring more people to try the uh, winter swimming challenge and beat the time we did today. And so be ready for that. Joko Mertibaka. What a great dinner. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. It's been fantastic. It has been really nice to have you. Thank you for guys. having us uh, here. It's been, it's been a it's pleasure. Uh, yeah, we enjoy it very much. Yeah. You have it's to come that we're back. Leaving. <laughs> what is that? Yeah, that is an igloo. Wow, it really it's super is, nice. Yeah. It's, mm -hmm. it's a real one. Yes, it is. But uh, you know I'm sleeping here tonight. I'm... All you need is this. Huh. So, sleep well. Thank you very much. I'm going to sleep in the hotel. So, <laughs> See you. bye. See you. Bye. Let's go. <laughs> this is so great. Yeah.